Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Good Monday morning, I'm Bree Groves on December the 14th with this News 5 update. And beginning today, all 50 states will have a vaccination as Sunday Pfizer began shipping doses to 145 distribution centers around the country. Healthcare workers and nursing home residents will be in the first wave to receive this shot. Moderna's vaccine candidate could also gain FDA approval by the end of the week. And hospitals are prepping for the arrival of this vaccine. The vaccinations arriving at 636 sites around the nation. Experts say it's going to be important for the public to closely follow CDC guidance for the next several months, even though the vaccine has started rolling out already. The Electoral College expected to formally choose Joe Biden as the nation's next president in a meeting today. Biden is planning to address the country tonight once those ballots are officially in and the votes won't officially be tallied until January 6th. One of the South Nevada Avenue projects is almost done and the Cone Zone area is almost clear. Utilities tells us that all power and gas has been switched over to the underground system and the initial lines came down last week. The rest of the lines and poles should be removed in the next two weeks. Now on this Monday morning, let's get a check of that forecast with meteorologist Sam Schreier. Well, that forecast is going to end up involving some snow tonight. Not a whole lot of it though. Accumulations expected to stay pretty weak to the region. During the day, we are just cold. We are cloudy outside. And again, that snow, even though it will come in with some wind, shouldn't be too big a deal for those of you not in the mountains. But I do think between about one to three inches, for areas above 7,000 feet west of I-25, we are then warmer in the middle of the week. Thank you for listening to today's 5 Things You Need to Know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.